High School Musical fans were thrilled to see the gang reunite during last night's Disney Family Sing Along, but Zac Efron's lack of appearance left his fellow Wildcats disappointed. However, the reason for his no show is pretty understandable. Hey, you guys, happy Friday. It's Susan Morad here with Clever News, bringing you all the latest entertainment updates from my at home studio. And we know Troy Bolton's head is always in the game. But unfortunately, last night, he just wasn't able to deliver. If you were frustrated like many were, now is the time to find a lush green hilltop and start aggressively dancing on it. While Disneyland is temporarily closed, we were feeling the magic in the comfort of our own homes last night in the form of stunning performances of Disney classics by our favorite artists. ABC's Disney Family Sing Along special aired last night, hosted by Ryan Seacrest, and it magically brought the nation a little bit closer, one classic Disney hit at a time. While fans were thrilled to see some of their favorite celebrities join in, the buzz surrounding the high school musical cast reunion was real, when news dropped that the entire cast would be in attendance earlier this week. Vanessa Hudgens, Ashley Tisdale, and the rest of the cast, including Corbin Blue, Lucas Grabiel, Monique Coleman, and Casey Stroh, teased their performance throughout the week with Zoom Hangouts. However, fans noticed that Zach wasn't present during any of these virtual hangouts. Just hours leading up to the event, it was announced that although Zach would still be making a special appearance, he wouldn't actually be singing with the Wildcat crew. And let's not get back into our frustrated feels because it was for a totally understandable reason. Now, before we get into all the details on Zach's absence, don't forget to subscribe to Clever News and ring that bell so you never miss any breaking news updates. All right, so earlier this week, high school musical director Kenny Ortega revealed the group's plans to reunite. But he did also state that, quote, we couldn't reach Zach until late. But when we did, he immediately jumped in. Of course, better late than never, right? Kenny also talked about the rest of the cast and their excitement, saying everyone we reached out to was quick and you'll see it in their spirit and the way they come together from their homes. That we absolutely did, you guys, as the unity was felt from behind our TVs while the cast sang along to the film's biggest hits, including We're All In This Together. But the reason for Zach's absence from joining in on the sing-along allegedly had to do with conflicting timing and scheduling. So you can blame Hollywood for that one. Then again, we will gladly accept Zach in any way, shape or form, even if it's in the form of a 30 second live introduction. Although he wasn't able to tune in and sing his heart out with the rest of the cast, fans were thrilled to see him introduce some of his oldest friends and even new ones that included the cast of High School Musical, The Musical. Check it out. Hi everyone, I hope that you're safe and that you're healthy and that you're doing as well as possible during unprecedented times. It's my greatest pleasure to introduce a musical performance by some of my oldest friends and some new ones. I hope that you enjoy and remember, we are all in this together. Of course, always a stand-up guy, but I'm curious to hear what you guys thought about Zach's absence from the show. Do you think it really was just a scheduling conflict and were you bummed he wasn't able to join in? Chime in down in the comments section below. Many fans who tuned into the Disney special were completely in awe of seeing the East High Wildcats back together again, but some heartbroken reactions came flooding in noting that Zach wasn't actually part of the reunion. One fan wrote, Kenny Ortega with the High School Musical cast. Ashley Tisdale said they're missing a Wildcat, then Corbin Blue popped up. Ma'am, you're missing two. Zac Efron not singing. Another user wrote, Zac Efron is dope, etc., but he's not Beyonce. He could have sang with the rest of High School Musical. But speaking of Beyonce, how she always manages to make appearances without anyone knowing ahead of time is beyond me. Fans, me included, were shocked to see Queen Bee in the flesh on their TV screens last night as she dedicated her cover of When You Wish Upon a Star to all of the healthcare workers who've been working tirelessly to help save the lives of people affected by the pandemic. When you wish upon a star other incredible performances included Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato, Josh Gad, Josh Groban, Kristen Chenoweth, Donny Osmond and his grandkids, and many, many more. It was surely a night to remember and a night of pure magic we so badly needed. Oh, we just love a good reunion, especially when it includes the cast of High School Musical. And speaking of reunions, it looks like One Direction is planning a pretty big one. Yep, and it includes Zayn. You can watch all of that right over here. I'm Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.